Hey everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I'm here to do a reading and this is the your love story. What is your love story? I haven't done this one for a while. I did I used to do it um in the past. I haven't had it in my Etsy shop for a while, but I do have it there now. I will put a link to this reading below if you'd like to purchase your own private. My time span on this um this reading that I'm doing tonight is gonna be from now till beginning of spring which will be March 21st so we're going to dive in and see what spirit has but you can put your where I was going with that you can put your this fell out um I'm going to pull another one but this fell out so for some very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now if you're in the process of manifestation in regards to this connection um if you have if you're in wishy-washy type of energy kind of get a little bit of control of that right um it's going to be important I feel like your manifestation is wanting to come to you. You, you know, this if you if you're separated and you're trying to manifest a reconnection in the physical, I feel like that is you know in the works for you. But there may be a little bit of wishy washy thinking or feeling within you, um, uncertainty that you need to kind of really get a hold of and you know focus in a more positive direction, or you know make a make a very clear decision very soon. But there's an energy of here something happening very soon. Um, what was I saying? Gosh, I was saying something when I got interrupted with that. What was it? I can't even remember. Gosh, I don't know. It may come back to me. And we have you deserve love. You are lovable. coming I want to see I wish I could remember what I was saying I was like what was I saying I don't know. that kind of like threw me out of my thoughts and kind of startled me that <laughs> card coming out with a very it just took my thoughts away completely what I was going to say I felt like I was in the middle of something there I don't know what it was found this visual to be rather odd. I'm going to be quite honest. I mean, this this is a woman standing near a creek with a bow and arrow. With the caption, you deserve love. There's something, I don't know, just... Could be my thoughts about that visual more than the actual words in the picture. More than the words on it. Something. It's like something thrown together. It's like I feel like spirit's trying to give me a feeling. It's like this thing is just making a noise. It's bugging me. Sorry. Um. Something that's thrown together rather quickly. done just to do it it almost feels like coming from the other person very soon I feel like I feel like all of a sudden I get impulsive impulsive because I feel like when I look at this card it wasn't very it wasn't really very well thought through like you know like when I look at this none of them it kind of seems to go together like to me this is a woman hitting a target right um I don't know there's just something about that that gives me that it's, and I feel like, and it's like, I feel like this person in the f hot minute future is like going to be, meaning hot minute, meaning soon, you know, like this, very soon, like going to just all of a sudden, there's an ex expect, um, expediency, um, you know, like an impulsive, I just did it to do it, I couldn't stop myself, like I just wanted to throw this together and get it out there, period. 
Um, I know that sounds like, a, like when you're at work, you just want to just, you know, like you have to come up with an idea and you just throw something together to get it out there and put it on your boss's desk. That's the kind of feeling this is. It's like, I want to just throw this out there quickly. And it was just like done really fast because of fear of losing out or fear of not having enough time or gosh, I just want to do something right away. So that's a feeling that's coming up and I'm going to go with that. Um, so that it comes to you now it's like they do it so that what you decide what you want so that it comes to you now so what you want comes to you now um so i feel like all of a sudden they get, somebody gets the nerve let's put it that way somebody gets the nerve to do something they all of a sudden feel like and it's like an impulse like from within i deserve this like so they're thinking of you i deserve you it's like all of a sudden the courage comes up from within um because this isn't something that they do that's bad you know what i mean like this is like all of a sudden it's like gosh darn it you know i don't know if you ever saw that on saturday night live with Stuart or whatever, he'd look in the mirror and he'd say, gosh darn it, I'm lovable, I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. So all of a sudden, this realization comes over them, this feeling comes from the depths, and they're like, I do deserve this. Um, and I, they do something impulsively because it's just like that burst of energy comes um, impulsively from within them so that what they want comes from to them now, which is you because they have the sudden realization that they deserve to have this love. They have the sudden realization that they are lovable and they deserve the love that, that they know is theirs. And so before that, I feel like they denied it or felt non-deserving of it and kind of self-sabotaged or wouldn't acknowledge it or wouldn't even look in that direction. Um, and then all of a sudden, there is this kind of reversal from that and I feel like they don't even stop for a second to overthink like thinking is out of this because this is very impulsive um this is very instinctual to um and like like the feeling I get when I look at this card like somebody just put these this image and those words together and really didn't think it through um and it's just like boom I did it just to get that card out and to say I did it. I mean, I, no disrespect to the, you know, the deck and all that and whatever. And, you know, it's just the feeling that it brings up within me. So it's, 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 it's that message that just came through. Um, I'm pretty sure I shuffled these and cut the deck before I started rambling. So I'm just going to start here. Who are you in your love story? What energy surrounds you in your love story at this time? So who are you in this love story? And it is cyclist. So I'm kind of getting like this play on words, cyclist, having gone round and round, you may, I see the wheels as spinning the wheels in my mind and cycles, like I've done this cycle how many times and you've thought about things over and over and I've been here before and I've been here before and I've been here before, or we have been here before, or this is a pattern that I see in my life and so this may be where you're at. Um, you may also very well be a cyclist and like to get outdoors and enjoy nature which I very much do myself I love to bike ride and everything so that is ac another aspect of the card so you may be doing physical activity you may be bike riding but as an energy of who you are in your love story you are um, you may be even trying to move away from or clear out those patterns and those cycles that you're kind of revisiting or you're you're seeing patterns and cycles that you've been through before with this person or other people or in your life in general um and you're working through that where your partner stands in this love story what's their character how are they behaving and we have meditation so this person is like i said this is yet to happen this is going to happen very soon so they're contemplating right they're in meditative mode they may not even really be contemplating because this feels very impulsive this feels like it just comes upon them um and they react they're just like maybe they see you and they're just like no you know dang it you know just that gl glimpse of you or something happens um and they have to make a split second decision and it occurs but right now who your partner is they're in meditation they're quiet this is like a four of swords i feel like if you're talking it's very minimal um it's very quiet it's very you know peaceful i don't feel like there's a lot of arguments or 
whatnot, but there is that energy. Um, it's interesting visual on this one too, where there's a bird kind of lifting, looks like to me, the hat off of her head. So it can be too like trying to, um, when I get that, I get a feeling from that, like they're trying to impart thoughts into your mind. So they may be communicating with you telepathically, um, you know, thinking of you a lot, um, bringing you up visualization and meditation, you know, um, kind of journey, journeying in their mind about why that's coming up to connect with you and have conversations with you. Um, and, you know, like kind of hoping that you will allow them in or that wanting to be in your thoughts as well but there is that sense there of telepathic communication connection sending you know thoughts your way that are peaceful that are serene there's nothing um uh you know energetically um, negative in this in this um visual but uh so yeah i'd say in a more quiet state that they are that's how they're behaving but there's also that message to be aware that they may be trying to send you messages like mind um connecting through the mind connecting through the thoughts so if you all of a sudden think of them it's because they're thinking of you right um or if you have this memory all of a sudden it's because they're thinking that memory there is a, a mind connection here and they may be even meditating on that like while wow, we have a very strong energy energetic connection and I do a lot of thinking of you so they may, that may be their thoughts too in this time and they may be meditating on that but there is a quiet reflection here coming from this person uh, in how they're behaving right now so it could be if you are communicating there's not a lot of communication they might just like touch base to see if you're around or if you're if you're still you know there for them or you know what have you or to let them know that they're thinking of you um, and then it's quiet or what have you. There's, I don't feel like there's a whole lot of like interaction if there's any um, coming up from that card. What or who is blocking you from moving to the next chapter in your love story? Um, we had visionary. It was kind of in reverse. So I'd say with the blocking position, um, not not enough. Like what I feel like this isn't so much a person, right? This is just an energy of clear vision. And there's this card is gray. There's a gray background. There's there could even be with this building. There could be legalities it gives me a sense of a courthouse so there could be legal things uh maybe you or they are involved in or legalities or technicalities things that they need worked out um but seeing a clear vision forward or a clear path forward but i feel like too like with this person clinging to this unicorn it's like they're clinging to the magic they're clinging to what they know they, they're clinging to what they feel um this person or perhaps you or the both of you so that is in the positive in regards to this. But what is blocking your way forward is a clear vision, a clear path forward. Like, how do we do this? But how do we get beyond, you know, the um, working things out, uh, things being fair? Or uh, how do we come together? But I do see, a, you know, like a holding on to hope, holding on to the magic in regards to um, the energy here. So it's like not, I don't feel like sometimes things are like huge blocks and very problematic. I feel like, just a clear vision forward, not really knowing um, how to work this out, how to work that out. Perhaps you're in different states or there's other people involved or there's children involved and, and there's just not a clear detailed vision. It's not to say that it can't come because I do very much see that they're holding out to hope. They're holding out to the details that they do have. They may have already worked out a bit of a plan here um, that I'm kind of seeing from this 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 is giving me an indication of yeah this is an issue but there's also positivity here in the in the um, in the unicorn and the girl so um it's like they're they can be formulating or a um, path I'm not saying they alone but a path spirit creating a path that they're showing you not to lose hope on the magic um and the things that you've envisioned because it can and will be i feel it's like spirit showing it can and will be worked out it's just right now what is blocking is this to come the rest of this card to come into color right because this the rest of this card is you know in a gray area it's not black or white it's not in full color um it's not in technicolors they're saying it's in a little bit of a gray area here so um, they're showing you that it's starting to come into color. It's starting to, and so that is the magic of all this. So not to lose, um, not to lose faith in that. Not to lose hope in that. Uh, that it's all you know the gray area, and it's not going to come into that clarity. So what is blocking is um, that lack of 
detail or lack of how the plan is going to play out, so to speak. But spirit is wanting you to know they're in control of that and not to lose hope because it is taking shape. It is taking form. Things are happening behind the scenes, right, that we don't always know. So um, that gray area, the rest of this gray area, those things that are needing to come into balance will come into this color and... Um, you know, be defined. So it's more of a what is blocking you versus a who. And so that's a good thing. The previous chapter of your love story, what has led up to now? Union. So I feel like, you know, having met each other, um, having knowledge of each other, whether you've met in the physical or not, what has led up to now is you coming together, having your heads together. Um, you know, whether that be talking long distance or first meeting or the fir your first physical encounter, um, having been together physically or, you know, hearing their voice or what led up to now um, is a union, you know, your connection, your realization, the word. And, uh, Spirit is using the word realization is what has led up to now, to this moment, even if it doesn't, even if you're not in union. What has led up to now is the realization of the union. And we see both people. And so I feel like it could also be a confirmation that your person has also had that realization. And they're kind of emphasizing realization um, a good bit. So that's what led up to now. You're meeting, you're connecting, your knowledge of each other in on the earth plane and that um, your your connection, you know, your spiritual connection, the energies that you share. It's all brought you to this moment, right? Very nice. Where you are, where you are in your love story, this is the present chapter. And it's rooted. So this one kind of gives me an up and down. It's like, this can be, some people could be in the midst of moving. Some could have had just moved. Some could need to move to be with each other. So because, the, you know, there's a root. So it could just be being established. You could be just getting established or you can be uprooting things, right? Um, so for everybody, I feel like this could come in a little bit of a different way, but where you are right now is settling down. Uh, where are you going to be? Where are you going to uh, be living? So that could be a little bit up in the air. Um, but that something about home, home base, location in the physical world, I feel, um, is where you are in your, in your love story. And also root chakra, obviously. Um, and even moving into this solar chakra, which, you know, would traverse the sacral chakra. But um, those lower three chakras is also an area where you're at very much more focused on the root. So security, stability, finances. Um, this would be primarily where you're at, um, you know, touching into your willpower to make and to create that and make that happen for yourself as well. So um, those are the lower chakras and that where you're at energetically within chakra system i would say and at this time and it, again for some this has to do with where you are where you're living where you're going to live where you are living being a little bit on a teeter-totter energy for some too so in two three four five okay six is the next chapter in your love story if you can move past the block in number three and that block was this visionary which we saw spirit really giving us a message that it's you know happening behind the scenes it's starting to come into view it's starting to come into color and in detail but there are some other aspects that are kind of in a gray area right now that is the block so where you're headed next when that block is um when that block is um removed or I don't really want to say removed because it's not about removing it it's about refining things working things out behind the scenes you know lining things up things coming together divine timing pretty much is their message but where you're headed when that is all kind of cleared up and taken care of which like they want to say is happening behind the scenes oftentimes it's not as fast as our egoic selves want it to happen right 
um, but where you go then is set, setting sell. So it's like kind of smooth selling. I'm more, more or less here smooth selling. So there's movement, right? And this is a boat on the water. So there is an ability to kind of um, be protected emotionally here. Um, feeling an ability to move um, about with emotions in regards to each other um, as well. But this could even be traveling. For some, this could have to do with traveling. Um, but energetically, it's like a six of swords. It's like coming into more peaceful um, connection, more, um, um, you know, what do I want to say? It's not a safer place, but like a safe haven within each other. Um, and again, for some, this could have to do with traveling, whatnot. But things will move. Like when this uncertainty, this, you know, things not being certain here with this visionary, when that comes into alignment, things will move again, right? Uh, you'll see movement within the connection in a positive direction. So this isn't so much a block. They want to, they want to like, because we can really get stuck on being blocked and, you know, needing healing. And this is just divine timing and things coming into play. You know, this, so it's not so much a block. It's just what's happening. It is just what it, it's, just what is, more or less, is how they're saying it to me. It's just what is right now. Um, and they are controlling that. And they are clearing that gray sky and bringing things more into color through the whole card. Um, so the next chapter is movement once that comes together. And then the end of the love story for this time period, which for me, I'm putting March 21st, like the springtime. And we have Thinker. And this person's like, blow, you know, this is going back to the beginning where I said this person just blows pretty much. Um, it's just a very impulsive, the thinker is like, the thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts, the thoughts. And I can't think no more. Because so when you no longer think and that thought, those thoughts just kind of explode, then we just act, right? It's just an impulsion here. Um, it's like, I've thought so long, I've thought so much, and, you know, again, they may see you, or something, you know, kind of triggers it, or they look at a picture, or they just pop a memory in their head, and it just all goes kapoom, um, and it takes us back to the beginning message that we had here, um, which, you know, I kind of deviated from the true meaning of this card, and went into the feeling that I get when I see it, and that is totally the message where it's just like, a knee jerk is the word, a knee jerk reaction that comes from a realization from within um, that, oh my gosh, this is what, this is my person, this is what I want, this is what I truly deserve. It, and then it's like courage meets opportunity and feeling and emotion, and it just, um, and it blows the lid off of their thought process that where they may have second guessed. There is like an instinctual action taken. In regards, like I, 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 I gotta just do this, right? Um, and so the thinking stops and the action happens. So I love how this reading came out. I'm gonna take a peek in the undercurrent because I'm curious. I like to see our superpower. I want to see what spirit says our superpower is, and it's serendipity. So I guess it's kind of synchronistic, synchronistic, like synchronistic, perhaps. Just serendipity. It's like things kind of coming together, like a happy accident. I'm hearing is the word. Um, and this is home, which is interesting because that was our, where we are right now is home, is the root chakra. So it's like creating home base or getting established in home base or finding our home base. And so there's going to be a synchronistic around that home base and that base chakra that um, is our superpower. So um, there is like a happy accident kind of feeling. So allowing for happy accidents, you know, when we overthink, and I think going back to this card too, is like, stop thinking, you know, and I feel like for those that are watching this by March 21st, you're going to come into this realization is you can't think your way through this kind of connection. You can only feel your way through it. And so you can't plan, you can't um, see how it's going to unfold. You can't, um, because the spirit has this, they're showing you, it's like, hold on to the magic, it's like um, Walt Disney came to mind, like the visionary, the um, imagination. Hold on to the magic of it. We're going to work out the actual practi practical details um, and kind of dissolve the things that are standing between this happening. And it's just kind of like, again, a happy accident. Things kind of just 
miraculously just kind of I know that sounds like can be sounding airy fairy but it's the way they're they're pointing it out to me interestingly we got the horn on this um you know the unicorn and then this kind of being like it um creates the breakthrough through the brain here through this person's mind right it's like a mind breakthrough it's like finally a realization I think that word kept coming up earlier in the reading a realization it's like boom out it goes and it's that breakthrough so a happy accident um but allowing for that stop thinking um allow things to kind of just naturally unfold allow spirit to do its job allow the universe to bring things together um but I feel like and in the meantime they're saying work on home base work on creating um your home putting your home together finding home um, you know, whatever you need to do to feel secure, work on that and let spirit work the rest of this out on this whirly bird here in a happy way. And you're going to see. So the advice to the viewers is work on your root chakra. I'll let spirit work on the serendipity and the happy accident that's yet to occur. So hopefully everyone has enjoyed the love story in this moment. Um, if you like your own personal private love story, click the link below. You can be taken to my Etsy shop. Angel blessings to everyone. Oceans of love.